Let's talk about the squat, the back angle in the squat, and more specifically, how to stay with it on heavy weights by keeping our chest down. The correct back angle in the squat has been covered at length on several YouTube channels, including ours. What I wanted to address today is why that horizontal back angle is so important to maintain out of the bottom of the hole and how to cue yourself to really stay down and in the hips when the weights get heavy. Now everybody knows the more horizontal back angle is done for a reason. With the bar on the bottom below the spine of the scapula, puts the hips in the farthest position behind the barbell and uses the muscles of the posterior chain, including and more specifically the hamstrings, to use as much muscle mass as we can. Now maintaining this is super important when you come out of the bottom because when heavy weights are on your back and you get out of this position, the bar will slow down and go the other way causing this reps. Let's talk about how to fix this today. So once I've got the bar on my back, one of the first things we're trying to establish in the squat is the early back angle. As the hips go back, the knees track out and forward at the same time. A useful way to think about this is to point your chest down or point your nipples down. And what that looks like is I'm going to find my spot on the floor, big breath. I'm thinking about chest down early to get into my hips. Remember, the faster I get my chest down, the more my hips go back, the more muscle mass is behind the bar can contribute to the squat. So I'm thinking chest down early, nipples to the floor, get my depth. And on the way up, what I'm looking for is not to raise my chest prematurely. Now, this is a thing we see super often very common in here is kind of stand up too early instead of really staying down in the squat. The second that chest comes up, the knees will come forward, the hamstrings will shorten, and at heavy weights, you'll find that the barbell slows down or it stops and goes the other way. Let's think about and work on how to fix that. Once that back angle has been established and we're in the bottom of the squat, on the way up is when things tend to go sideways. And two really useful ways to think about this is to one, don't stand up too early. And by stand up, I mean, don't bring that chest up and try to get upright too quickly. And the second way to think about this is to stay bent over with your chest down longer than you probably want to. In reality, if we keep that back angle down, all the way up, it shouldn't change much until really the end when we stand up. That back angle should stay consistent basically the whole way up in the squat. If you see a quick back angle change of becoming more vertical, the lifter has picked their chest up early and it might be hard to detect, but the knees will have traveled forward, the hips will have come forward a little bit, the hamstrings will have shortened and the bar speed will inevitably slow down. At heavy weights, this won't go. Now let's see how this looks when we try to stand up too early or become too vertical early on the ascent and conversely, how it should look when I stay down and in the hips. So, bar placed below the spine of the scapula as always. Big breath, two steps. Now, once I establish that back angle, I'll show you what it looks like when I try to stand up too fast. Big breath, into the hips, on the way up. Chest comes up too early. Again, chest goes down, on the way up, I'm trying to stand up too early, I'm in the quads, I kind of shift back towards my heels, and the bar will slow down. Conversely, if I'm gonna stay down on the hips, you'll notice the bar speed is significantly improved, it's steady, and the squat is more powerful. Chest stays down longer than I want, so I can finish the squat properly. Try to catch me hollering at the moon. Now setting your back angle and maintaining it throughout the squat is pretty easy when the weights are light, but why does it become a problem when the weights are heavy? Well, it's simple, because squatting heavy is hard and it's scary. When you've got a weight in your back that you're not sure you can do, forcing yourself to bend over takes a lot of discipline and trust in your ability and what you've been practicing before. Also, when you get to the bottom coming out, sometimes you panic because you're trying to stand up faster and finish repetition that that slight lifting of the chest causes you to miss reps. I know it's hard, Keep in mind that setting the chest down early and keeping it down is gonna to lead to bigger weights and more successful squats.